is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds we are back at insurance auto auctions here in oklahoma city let's jump into this today with number one on my list maybe something for monkey wrench mike a 2002 ford f-150 and it's going to most likely go very very cheap this thing actually looks pretty good i do believe this is a run and drive this is not bad i think these chrome caps might be aftermarket got the weston running boards looks like it's got pretty dang good tires michelins okay yeah guys this is nice and i love the sticker up here that's really nice too i can get on board with that i think we all can right not bad at all my question is four six five three which one let's take a peek under the hood Ugh. yeah you know there's nothing wrong with the four six man there's nothing wrong with the four six these aren't bad motors triton she's got some oil leakage going on down here that's for sure either that or somebody spilled some oil all over it when they were filling it up that's probably what happened yeah it looks like someone was just dumping oil into this thing that could be a problem there's a, a patch job done right here with some silicon. It's got orange silicon down there. Somebody tried to patch that up. These intake manifolds are notorious for leaking, but these are a little bit better. The truck manifolds are made of aluminum instead of plastic. The plastic ones, those are a nightmare. So I always end up replacing the plastic ones with these aluminum ones if I have a choice in the matter. Let's see if it has any coolant. I can't see down in there. Oh, she does not. She does not have coolant. <laughs> Again, not really surprised. Uh, probably going to need an intake manifold. Not a big deal. Let's check out the interior. Now, don't go telling... Uh-oh. Don't go telling Monkey Wrench Mike that I'm out here trying to shop for him another truck. Because if you do, if he finds out, he's not going to want to work on the truck that I... Oh no. Are you. F mm. Yes. <laughs> well, that's nice. He's not going to want to work on. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Somebody locked it. How nice. I, I know. Oh, it could have been an accident. Trust me, guys. Probably not. It probably wasn't an accident. People do this. And things like this. Things like this are what eventually, I'm telling you, it's coming. The day is coming where eventually these auctions are not going to allow people to film. They're not going to allow people to come out here and mess with the cars because there's too many people out here with their shenanigans, man. The only thing you can hope is that you can push down on these windows and maybe one of them is off track and it'll come down. Otherwise, we're, we're done. You know, that's it short video which sucks because that means i cannot nope i can't check this out yeah i can't check this out and i don't even know what that says it says r and d starts but then it says i don't know what that says honestly i have no idea i have no idea if this is a run and drive okay well no coolant <laughs> it's got the four six we can go ahead and check the oil real quick hopefully it has some of that uh-oh milkshake and it's overfilled yeah that's why it has no coolant it's milkshake and it's overfilled so i mean i, I can't be too upset about this one uh boy i should probably check the oil on all of these things shouldn't i <laughs> i'm telling you guys it can have milkshake and it can still sound and run perfectly fine um the interior looks really nice on this though really nice so this thing's probably got a popped head gasket well i guess that's it for this one let's move on to the next next on my list this one i'm interested in for myself i know i i know you guys are probably tired of the chevy cruise right but this is no regular chevy cruise man this is a diesel i have always wanted one of the diesel cruises i'd prefer a chevy cruise diesel with a manual transmission i know nothing about this other than it's probably not going to go for much 
it looks good. It's even the same color my last Chevy Cruze was. And I'm thinking about doing Toro again. I know I, I should have learned my lesson. Uh, I did it for years. I was a super host. I did great with Toro. It was a wonderful thing for me, but it was also a huge P-I-T-A. It's extremely time consuming. And let's just be honest, people don't take care of your cars, guys. I don't care what anybody else says. I did it for years. And I'm telling you, people do not respect your property. They do not take care of your cars. They treat them like absolute garbage. But I'm curious. It'd be fun video content. We could try it again. I want the diesel, and here it is. Here's the diesel. Is this a timing belt motor? Oh, boy. It is a timing belt motor, isn't it? Yes, it is. Interesting. I did not know that. I did not know that the diesel had a timing belt. Obviously, it's a little turbo diesel. I think it's a 2.0 liter. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, uh, 2.0 liter turbo diesel. Um, it almost looks like there's something missing here, doesn't it? Right here, it says 80 amp, but there's nothing there. You never know, guys. People come in here and they screw with this stuff and they'll they'll just mess it up. It's full of coolant. We'll figure that out later. We're going to go ahead and try to start it. Let's see if we can check the engine oil real quick. Oh, it's that nice sooty black diesel oil. It probably doesn't have power, so we're probably going to have to throw a jump on it real quick. Let's take a look at the interior. The body itself looks pretty good. It's got minor hail damage. We've got prime well on the back. Eh, the tire's probably got about 20% tread left. It's got the leather. Nice. Yeah, this is far nicer than the one I had. Does it have power? No, I don't think it does. We got another prime well with about 20% tread. Another prime well. That one's, that's about 20% tread too. So she's got a full set of matching tires. They're good enough. That's a prime well as well. They'll get you down the road. Let's see if we can squeeze in here. Try not to bump any of these cars here, but this one is in here pretty damn tight. Come on. I wonder what the miles are on it. These are nice bolstered seats too. This is a nice little car. It's got the upgraded infotainment system. Mine had a, a much smaller one. This is nice. It smells okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, the key doesn't... There's something wrong with that key. Okay, well, we'll figure that out here in a minute, I suppose. Let's throw a jump pack on it. Interstate battery from 2020. It's a good sign. It looks like somebody must have actually cared about the old girl depending on the uh mileage this could be a toro car but again that's very dependent on the miles i think toro's pretty particular about being under 130,000 miles can we get that on there good there we go right there and right there i'm curious to see what the miles are on this I'm also curious to see if it runs. We have power. Oh, I have got to lose weight. Oh, 225,000 miles. It's got diesel. I hear the fuel pump. Exhaust fluid quality pour. Uh-oh. Can we put it in uh, neutral and try it? Nothing. I don't hear a starter at all. Huh. Well, I wonder if this is a generic key. This key looks brand new, guys. I mean, this key looks brand spanking. It's not, it's not scratched up or anything. What if it's not programmed? Because it makes no attempt 
engine power reduced, poor quality exhaust fluid. We do have a security light on the dash right there that stays on. It does not turn off. Huh. I'm wondering if we have a security issue with that chip. I think we do. I don't know. Some cars are, are, are different, man. Some cars will not even attempt to crank at all. Like this one. Some will start, but then they will die almost immediately. Like they'll run for like one second and then they'll die. But you notice that security light is just steady on the dash right there. I could put my foot on the brake. Actually, I hear a relay under the hood. Could it be a sticky relay? No. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I'll tell you this though, it doesn't sound like any power at all is getting to the starter. This would not be a Toro car, unfortunately. Too many miles, that's the way it goes. But I would still love to know why she doesn't run. There could be a blown fuse. Any one of these fuses could be popped in the middle. That's a possibility. It's definitely not from a lack of power from the booster pack, because she's really giving it all she's got. Um, somebody could have come out here and messed around. They could have pulled. Ugh. Boy, that is a bear to get open. We're just going to leave it alone. We're going to leave it alone. Somebody could have gone in there and did some messing around, and who knows. It could be an electrical issue. It could be a bad start, or it could be an engine problem, but I don't think so, guys. I think there's something relatively simple that's going on here. This thing would probably run. Moving on. Last on my list, a 2014 Range Rover. I know better. I do, but I can't help it. These things are really, really nice. And I think I might be on the hunt for another one. It's been a while. I like this generation. I can't explain why I like these gills. That's what it reminds me. I don't know if that's what they call it. But tell me these do not look like gills, man. I, I love it. I do. This one has a little bit of damage on the other side. I saw some pictures of it, but I don't know how bad it actually is. Ooh. Uh, that's that's a little yeah that's that's rough that's rough okay great seal of state of oklahoma experience old jerusalem and trump was right okay well there you go you get a little bit of better idea of who owned this vehicle i suppose right um boy this this side this is bad I didn't realize it was this bad. She took it from the front all the way to the back, guys. So she sideswiped something or something sideswiped her. It looks relatively good. You got some scratching on this bumper. This wheel is obliterated. You got some scrapes on this fender. That's going to be okay. The gills are fine. The door is fine, but you got some scratches here. More scratches and some deep indentations on this rear door. This rear door is done. I don't believe that's going to be savable. Thankfully, I think this door comes all the way down. So if you replace the door, you save this arch too. So the main damage you're looking at are the two wheels. This back door, obviously, there's some suspension damage down there. Probably no big deal to fix. What is most likely a big deal is this right here. Because you didn't just get this outer structure, you took out this inner structure too. Something caught the inside of this and did some pretty gnarly damage. So the outer skin has got to be replaced, but also all of this damage on this inside structure here is going to have to be replaced. The back bumper, that's a, that's a wrap on that. That's done. So, I don't know. I don't know. These things usually go for money too. Supercharge, it should be like 500 and something horsepower at 500, 520. Why are these? This is closed too. I can't even get in the driver's side. Are you serious? Really? So you got to what? Climb over? Let's take a look at the interior. Okay, so this, 
this is nice this is nice you got the reclining seats in the back here oh it's got power too panoramic sunroof you got the screens in the back you got your climate control over here with heated seats too bad they don't have cooled seats this is this is nice it smells good too let's see how it is in the front not bad oh you've got that fancy uh erecting <laughs> gear shift lever there all of your controls for your different modes right here push to start right there all digital screen if i could get you guys over there that'd be great it almost looks like i'm gonna have to climb over this thing and i'll tell you what's gonna happen all right i'm gonna climb over this damn thing and the battery is gonna be dead and i'll have to climb back over to get out again okay oh my goodness what a what a pain <sighs> Fired right up. Fired right up. Thank you. Maybe you are a contender after all. I don't know. Let's see if we can block out some of that light for you. Not bad. Well, she's running like a dream, guys. Engine sounds healthy. Range, 234 miles. I'd like to know what the actual miles are on this. Hell, I don't even know where, where, where it would tell you. I would assume it'd be down there somewhere, but I just don't see it. Closed doors to change ride height. I don't want to change the ride height. I would like to know how many miles are on this bad boy. If I remember right, it's something like 60, 61 or 62,000. You can see this has come up now, so it's ready to go into gear. Although, I'm not going to put it in gear. Uh, we're not going to try to <laughs> we're gonna try to move this one. She's got, some, she's got some pretty significant problems going on down there. So we don't want to, uh, we don't want to damage it by putting it in gear. Steering, believe it or not, works and feels good. I'm also shocked that it has a brake pedal. It does. I'm sure the windows and stuff work. Yes, they do. It's got the Meridian sound system. I would like to pop the hood. I just, I don't know if I can get down here to, to actually get it. So, uh, give me a minute, guys. Let's see if we can pop this hood. I love this center stack, too. Very nice. It's a very elegant vehicle. You turn this on and see everything comes to light up over here and over here as well yeah i like this one a lot guys I, I think this is one i might be willing to take a risk on so let's pop the hood and see what's going on underneath you guys were hoping i was going to show me getting out of the car and busting my hump out here no not gonna happen supercharged range rover you can hear those <laughs> those injectors going to town man Brrr. Man, I like it. I know better, though. And I think you guys warn me in the comment section every time. Every time I'm looking at one of these, you guys tell me, don't do it. Number one, most of you are not interested in seeing a Range Rover on the channel. And number two, most of you have seen enough YouTubers purchase these things to know, as well as I do, that they're bad luck, man. <laughs> These are not these are not generally good vehicles to buy. Uh, I'm sure some people have had great experiences with them, but I'm telling you these are things you just probably should avoid buying second hand. Uh, buy them new, buy them with a warranty and you're probably fine. Buy them used, fine, but buy the warranty. Otherwise, I don't think they're worth risking unless you can get them super cheap, but also remember there is no such thing as a cheap well they say mercedes but i think it also <laughs> applies to range rover land rover jaguar 
Porsche, Lamborghini, Ferrari, just take your pick. McLaren, well, there's no such thing as a cheap McLaren. But anyway, you get the point. If it's cheap, it's probably going to cost you a lot of money in the long run. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to get out of here. Short, sweet video. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and let me know you enjoyed the content. Share the video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.